In the 1960s, when racial discussions were prevalent, one Jewish professor, Leonard J. Fine, a political scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, argued that Jews are not white. He told that to a congregation of rabbis. Some Jews believe themselves to be distinct from most whites, and conversely, some non-Jewish whites often view Jewish racial characteristics as being part of a separate group. It might be true that some people dislike Jews simply for their looks. While it is often difficult, if not impossible, to tell some Jews apart from Gentiles. There does appear to be some similarities that are often prevalent among certain Jews. The following is an overview of the stereotypical Jewish look which some non-Jews believe to be true overall. In some cases, Jews are perceived as having noses with a hyperbolic curvature, similar to that of what might be found on Armenians. Sometimes, their noses appear to be quite long, too, in relation to their face. In Dr. John Baker's book, Race, he notes that there often appears to be a number six shape, so to speak, on the noses of Jews. Such curves often contrast with those of Europeans or others who often have straight noses. The eyes of Jews are often described as being beady. They often tend to have an Asiatic appearance. Some say that their eyes often appear to be heavy-lidded, looking as though they'll fall asleep. Jews are often said to have bushy eyebrows. Sometimes they are even connected in the center, although this trait appears in other nationalities as well. In some instances, Jews will have thick lower lips, which tend to be everted or stick out when speaking. Their upper lips are often said to be thin. In some cases, non-Jews claim that Jews often have no earlobes. They're often said to have a flat back to their skull, and the upper front part of their heads are often said by some non-Jews to be shaped differently as well. It must be pointed out, however, that all these physical differences can in no way make one certain of anything. While it is true that some Jews might exhibit some of these ethnic characteristics, there are certainly some non-Jews who might also exhibit similar characteristics as well. One can easily look at Alicia Silverstone and see that she doesn't really appear Jewish. Also today there is plastic surgery as well, which must be taken into consideration. Jews are not merely disliked for their looks. As is often the case, their behavior is perceived differently 